Hi guys, I'm Danica Ferranti from MyBeautyScraps.com and look what came in the mail today. It's my favorite pumpkin pops. I'm so excited. So this is the August kit. I have not seen any sneak peeks yet online. I have not seen Paper Pumpkins video posted yet. So I have no idea what's inside the box at all. Um, I just know that it's called Giftable Greetings. So I am really excited about that. Um, I love giving little paper crafting gifts, so I cannot wait to open this box and see what's inside. I want to get right to it, but before I do, um, I just want to let you guys know about the awesome Paper Pumpkin promotion going on this month. If you've never subscribed to Paper Pumpkin before, it's an awesome time to give it a try because you can save 50% off of your first month. You just have to sign up by September 10th and use the promo code that's down in the description box below. So in the description box, um, there's a link that'll take you right to the sign up page and then the promo code that you have to enter as well. So you can save 50% off of your first month and your first month is going to be September's kit and you just have to sign up by September 10th. It's that easy. And Paper Pumpkin's normally only $19.95 a month, so you'll get your first kit for less than $10. It's so awesome. And the Paper Pumpkin kits are so fun. I can't wait to see what is in August box. So let's flip the camera around and see what's inside. All right, I cannot wait to rip this box open and see what's inside. I love the surprise every month of the Paper Pumpkin Kit. I love having easy, adorable projects <laughs> already pre-designed and sent to me every month. It's just such a fun thing. And if you're not familiar with Paper Pumpkin, every month we get an ink pad. Sometimes um, we get two, so it's really great for new crafters to build up your ink and stamp collection. I love taking these little ink pads with me on the go. <laughs> They're great for that. So we got Night of Navy this month. And then every month is also an exclusive stamp set. I am loving this one. We have some great flower images. There's a little tiny one right down there. A to and a from. And I like these little petals here to build a flower. And then we have some sentiments um, with much sympathy. It means so much. You did it. And thinking of you along with that little to and from. So that's our stamp set this month. And then let's see what the kit is. Oh, this is so fun. So again, the August kit is called Giftable Greetings, and it looks like we're making cards, and it comes with a little box to put them in, so you can give it as a gift. That's so cute. And look at those envelopes. All right, let's open this up so we can get a closer look. So if you do sign up for Paper Pumpkin, um, one of the perks for being a Paper Pumpkin subscriber is that you can shop for past kits and refills of kits in the online store. Um, sometimes I get some questions about what the refill means. Um, so the refills for kits, you get everything that's included in the kit. You just don't get the stamp set and the ink pad when you're buying a refill. Um, but there's some full kits available in my online store and there's some refills available. So that all depends on what you're looking for. So we get this cute box to gift the cards in with ribbon, Knight of Navy Baker's twine, and some mini glue dots. You get a full instruction sheet. So this shows you the finished projects on the front. The inside has step-by-step -step instructions. And the back tells you the kit contents and also which Stampin' Up! colors are used in the kit. And that's one of my favorite parts because um, when I'm using some of my like leftover bits from the kit or I'm coming up with um, alternative ways to use my kit, it's easy to know what colors to reach for of my Stampin' Up! inks and cardstock so I match. Easy. <laughs> All right. There's a ton in this kit this month. So we also got a little sheet of glue dots. There's leaf stickers. So there's three sheets of leaf stickers. Oh, that's cool. So this stamp 
right there is kind of like a fun twiggy sort of stamp but it is can also be used to stamp veins onto the leaf can you see that that's fun what else what else do we have okay so we've got some die cut flowers so it looks like those match up with this stamp i love it when we can stamp on die cuts and stickers so we've got some blue ones and some peach ones we also have a sheet of die cut tags that must be where the to and from stamp comes from and then we've got eight envelopes so you've got four that have the peach stripes on them and four that have the um, calypso coral stripes and then that coordinates with your card bases so we have four and do you see that print that's on the front part of the design is already pre-printed for you we've got four in peach and four in calypso coral Oh, and these are cute. So these are all little die cut flowers. There's a ton of them on this sheet. I can barely get the whole thing in the <laughs> in camera. Look at all those little flowers. And then the rest of the kit. Oh, fun. So there's some die cut ovals. These are just plain white ovals. And then you get two sheets that have um, pre-printed greetings on there. So you get congrats and thanks and um, we only get or well, not only eight's a lot but we <laughs> we get eight um, card bases and the matching envelopes in this kit and you have so many more um, sentiment ovals so we're gonna be able to make a lot of extra projects oh I'm super excited so I'm gonna get this all organized start playing around a little bit and I'll be right back well I have been crafting <laughs> This kit is so fun. I created a bunch of the projects as they're designed. Um, you may notice I have two boxes here. Um, I get more than one paper pumpkin kit a month. <laughs> you guys know how much I love paper pumpkin. I can't get just one. Um, so I created actually both of the boxes for the kit. I wanted to give you a close-up look uh, at the cards. So again, these are the cards exactly following the kit instructions it's just i feel like it's better to see it up close than in that picture on the um instruction sheet they are so cute so this is the congrats card and i boxed it up just as the instructions show pretty much i'm going to show you a little tweak that i made um to the ribbon that actually i think makes it easier but also gives you a little bit extra ribbon so that's always great <laughs> and here's an up close look at the thanks card these are really simple and so fun to do so since i had um two kits here that i was working with i actually put all the congrats in one box and all the thanks in the other box um, and i'll give you an up close look at that cute little tag isn't that adorable? I love those little flower die cuts with the leaf stickers. So cute. Who wouldn't love to get this gift? All right, so I want to show you how I cheated <laughs> with the ribbon bow um, to not only get an extra bit of ribbon, um, but also to make it easier for the person receiving the gift. They don't have to untie the bow. They can just slide it off um, like a belly band. So the only thing I grabbed from my stash for this trick is my um tear and tape so what you want to do is just hold it relatively tight to the box not too terribly tight because you want it to be able to slide on and off easily and wrap it around and then you can trim off i trim off probably leaving about half an inch to an inch of overlap you're not going to see it it's going to hide behind the bow And then I'm just going to take the teensiest little piece of tear and tape because you don't want it to be um, wider than the ribbon width. And then just lay it down on top of the ribbon when it's wrapped around your box. Hope you guys can see that. 
and then I give it a, a firm press and then you can tear off the backing. And if you have any hanging over at this point, you can just kind of fold it over the top. And then I come in with the other side. And again, you want it fairly tight, but not, you don't want to like stretch it. You don't want to pull it too tight so it can still slide on and off easily. And then just fold it over. So it doesn't look beautiful like that, but <laughs> I'm going to cut that little string, um, but we're going to hide it. And put that off to the side and then we still have this big length of ribbon left over so you guys know I'm a little bow challenge <laughs> um, yeah it's been it's always comedy <laughs> on my channel when we're talking about um, but with this kind of ribbon I like to make two loops like that and then tie them together and pull it tight probably should have left a little more room but that's a cute bow <laughs> so I don't know if I want to mess it up um let's see pull it tight I kind of wanted a bigger tail I feel like that's okay actually all right I'm gonna fuss with it a little bit because you know I have to make it smaller than you want well see now it's not cute all right you know that was that would have been way too easy <laughs> so I'm gonna leave myself a little bit more tail this time and do the same thing so it's kind of like the two bunny ear method and then I'm just gonna tie it together All right, I think that's good. It's about the size I want. It's not the best bow, but it's good for me. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always so bow challenged. So I'm gonna just trim off the ends at an angle. And then we have this piece left over to use on another project. So that's a pretty good size piece. We could probably use it as like a, a border on a card. And then I'll take a look at my bow, see which is the prettiest side. I think probably this side. Because um, then we're going to use the tear and tape again. And this time we can use a little bit of a bigger piece. But still kind of small. And I'm going to put that over the knot on the back side and give it a good press so that it sticks to the ribbon when we pull off the backing paper. This stuff is so sticky sometimes it wants to stick to itself. All right, and then we're going to put that right over the seam that we made. And now you can see we can take that right off the box without opening the ribbon and that way whoever I give this to can use this over again or they can just keep it pretty while they're storing their cards they can leave that pretty little ribbon on it and just take it on and off when they need one or they can end up reusing and regifting this adorable little box and then I also just attached that little um, gift tag that we made the same way that the kit shows you to so I put the Baker's twine through the little circle and then just ran it up underneath the ribbon and tied it off. And a little knot at the top. Oops. And then trimmed off 
and you can tuck that behind your loop of the bow super cute i love these so i don't want to make this video too terribly long so i'm gonna end there um but i have a really fun idea for a card so i'm gonna share that video next a way to use the stamp set after you've already used all of your kit contents um so you can keep creating with this kit thanks so much for watching today and um Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next fun paper pumpkin video. And if you haven't tried paper pumpkin yet, remember about that special this month. Um, you're definitely going to want to get in on the fun and save 50% off. All right, guys. Remember, if you have any questions, you can contact me in the link down below. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.